Uh, them out. Damn. They did not do it right. It's okay. For the record, um, Dan. Well, yeah. Dan Red's the Falco. GD Fru is or Red Pac is the Pac Man. In the player cams, however, um, Dan Red is on the right and Red Pac on the left. Just in case you guys want to know whose pretty faces those are. The score on the top is not the same as the other two. But here we have some zoning coming in from the Pac-Man. Pac yes, but you know, Falco just needs that one hit and he can do a ton of damage. If he can dodge these projectiles, here's that up tilt. He, didn't, he keeps the pressure on, but only gets a little bit from it. See Danwood coming through with the parries, getting it back on the stage with the side B. Now here comes the pressure, the Nair into the up tilt. It's gonna put Red Pac up to that 66%. Ooh, and Danwood wins the battle over the Hydrant. And now we're looking at a lead for Danrid, bringing it back after getting hit by a few things in the beginning, but there's the clutch F smash from GD Fru, closing out that stock into the Hydrant and into the Falco. And he's keeping the pressure up with these projectiles. Danrid able to get out of the corner, but will he be able to win neutral? Ooh, he gets hit by the Hydrant. You see Red Pog knowing that he does not necessarily need to do the approaching because he has the stock lead. He's sitting back with his projectiles. Ooh, but the reflected hydrant will take the stock for Danrid. Now we're at the same stock, two apiece, with a surmountable gap, but still substantial of 85% now. Here comes Danrid. The roll gets Red Pock to center stage. And here he goes. The fair gonna hit him. There's another reflect. These reflects are get coming in clutch for Danrid. Every time he manages to reflect these projectiles, things start to work out for him. And there's the Hydrant again hitting him. Bell, you gotta be worried about that. Ooh, and he hits him with the Bell! Gets a fair off it. Goes for the down smash. Not gonna connect. Danrid in there with the back hit. Going for the spike to end it. Not quite hitting. Ooh, the jab to roll read, but then the not roll read. So I guess I was wrong. Ooh, here comes Danrid catching him in the air. Gets clipped by the Hydrant though. Now Red Pock has a chance to put on the pressure. Maybe he closes out the stock and he catches the roll behind with the Hydrant. Danrid playing maybe a little hesitant because of all these projectiles. And there's the reflect again. If Danrid can secure the stock here, it'll be an even stock. And there's the up tilt. Up air is not going to take it. Still gets the juggle going. Keeping those reflects up for pressure. Looking for that kill. The up tilt again. Up air will finish the stock. Now we're at last stock. 0% apiece. Very tight game. Really could go anyone's favor. Red Pock going deep for that melon, but I don't think he got it. There's the hydrant. Damn, it's going to hit it. But Red Pock staying underneath it. Here's the up tilt. Not going to convert him to much, but he does have the pressure on. Fair's going to hit him. Another fair. Into the nair. Here's an up tilt. Damage stringing these hits together. Another up tilt. He gets up air to back air. Now a whopping 78% on Red Pock. Here we are. Back in the neutral. Red Pock gets the nair. He doesn't find that S smash. Good air dodge by Danton, avoiding the hydrant. Here comes Red Pock. Ooh, not gonna fall for that uh, reflect. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. And here we have Red Pock on the edge. Dan with the dash attack, keeping him on off stage. Goes for the down air connect, but gets the weak hit. Red Pock is gonna stay alive. Nair again hitting him off stage. Danrid goes deep with the fair, hitting the pellet and securing the stock. Game one to Danrid. Nah, I'm running losers first. Okay. Um, there's an open setup. Okay. One sec, John.
sorry there, folks. I had to go run this tournament, but I'm back. Just in time for an exciting game two. Dan were taking that last game with a clutch forward air. Do not forget that. And now we have the counter pick to what looks like town and city. Hey, Toby, you want to take my spot? All right, this is Forp signing out. Your boy Tobe is going to hop onto that fat commentary position. Right there against... Yeah, me too. I'm going to go back... I'm going to go run this tournament. Your boy Tobe is going to hold down commentary. And you're going to have a nice, exciting losers round one set between Dan Ridd and Red Pock, formerly known as GD Fruit. All right. Forb out. And just like that, it's Tobe in, everybody. Hello, hello. Who am I with today? Uh, hello, I am 30 Turtle. 30 Turtle and Tobe taking over country. We have Dan Ridd playing Falco versus Pac-Man. Um, alright, how's the state of the game going so far, 30 Turtle? Well, currently, the Falco's in the lead, but as we saw last round, this is the Oh, and just when you say that, Red Pack takes the lead with a decisive F smash. That was actually a down smash, but you know what I mean. So, if I were to be Falco, and I was trying to get active, I would be focusing not necessarily on things like the deck bag, which are and it is easy. Okay, so. Um, they are both really good campers, but I'm of the opinion that Falco is going to be a little bit better at shield, so I already thought that he's trying to get into his face a little bit. Um, trying to, trying to overwhelm him, get some shield pressure down, just trying to make him press a button in response that you can easily punish. And the reflector, there's reflector, a big thing in this. Yeah, the reflector, as you've seen, reflects the hydra. So often in this matchup. So you really have to catch the Falco off guard. Hate the Hydrant. Oops! He hits him with the fuck up. That's that's how you want to pack one moves, for the record. Now can he go with the and but he Oh he does good work. And just like that, Dandrit, is he on the is he on the road to 2 0? I dunno. I dunno. Oh, you're good reflector. <laughs> Are you 32? You kidding me? Oh, that's mad punishable. Ooh, he does not get it. Pac-Man still trying with the hyperion Doing doing regular Pac-Man neutral things. A really cool fruit, the airplane fruit. Not what it means, but I think it's an airplane fruit. You know what it is? It's actually a key. But it's a key? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, but keys don't behave that way, so I don't, I don't believe you. Oh, he's he's he again. He's gonna, he's gonna try and combo off of it. A nice one to get it back. Alright, he's being, he's thinking very, very hard about how to approach- Oh! Oh, that was clean! Alright, it's, it's really anyone's game. Red pack on tournament stop? So you have to wonder, what is he going to be doing to ensure that the stop goes in his favor? Couple, couple of there, couple of there. Oh, oh, he went, he went for it. He went for, oh, it's- <gasps> Oh! When both people off stage, man, stressful. Oh, another fruit, another reflector. Another day, another dollar. Ooh, that's punishable. Oh, but the platform saves him! That's crazy! Oh, he's just trying to smack the hydra. That's another way to do it. He's just charging F smashes, hoping he comes at him. Alright, that might be it. Oh, never mind. Almost. Close! Surely close. He's so... Oh, no. He's... On his tournament stock, he has to be so careful here. Oh, you can just see what's he got. What's he got? He just run up enough, Smash. Oh, 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 I don't know what happened there. Oh, and the fruit gets that's the kill. it. Wow. That's it. A fruit kill. But all right, that was a very, a very, 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 very good. Game. All right, starting out with stock, Dan Rid. Should be back with another loser's round after this.